stage. Chance for Jezelenko. Handball on to Michael Roberts. He's about to be met, but he'll break away. Hooks the ball down further afield looking for Burns. He's lost it, and in fact, that looked to be out on the full. Yep, yes, for Ackerley, it ricocheted out off his uh, instep, and St Kilda will get the free kick, and Greg Burns will take it. 22 minutes gone. Maybe about eight or nine minutes left for St Kilda to make this very, very interesting. Saru and round, and Barry Round wins. A great mark by Barry Round, a great captain's mark on that last line of defence. He'll settle things down. 12 12 84, 19 points behind South Melbourne, 15 13, 103. Barry Round's kick off, not a good one, falling short. Jesselinko should take the mark, and he does in front. Well, it's been awesome, Kilda, in this final quarter. Jesselinko now looking to kick it right up towards that full forward line. Candace and Kilda Mark come out of this. Up high as Bennett almost took the mark, but it's round again. He threw it out for nine round. But the umpire's going to say it is a point. And so St Kilda go to 12 goals, uh, 13, 185. South Melbourne, 15, 13, 103. Carter, not knowing where to kick it to. Every time he kicks it out, St Kilda bring it back. Let's see what he can do with this one. He's coming out to the members' side of the ground. Out here looking, for, in fact, for Allender. And Reese Jones up high as it punched down. Chance for Dunlops. It beautifully knocked across towards Cowton. But St Kilda not giving up as Cowton handballs to himself. In, in there as Cunningham gives it beautifully out towards Dunn. Dunn can go for a bit of a run. Oh, he's dropped it. Dunn is put in the back up. Play on to the umpire. Jesley go a step for goal! It's there! Great goal on Jesley go. His second. St Kilda, 13-13-91. South Melbourne, 15-13-103. The difference, 12 points at the 23-minute mark, final quarter. If only they could have got that goal duck weight about five minutes ago. They have been trying and trying and trying St Kilda and top marks to them for doing it. They've converted a 33-point deficit in this last quarter to 12 and there's about uh, 24 minutes gone right now and still plenty of time left in this match. Back at midfield, good tap out, very effective one by Allender, but it's Barker trying to get through. And here goes St Kilda around the outer side of the ground again. Satori's in trouble and has lost it. Hounsell out there, Barker fighting on, gutsy effort to a teammate. Fairing gives the ball back. St Kilda at the moment not quite sure where to go. Satori was held and it'll be a St Kilda free kick. The St Kilda fans love that because it was Neville Nash and they've hooted him all day. And here's the free kick to Ian Satori, centre wing plus 15 metres. Play on, son, you can. Now he goes, he runs back in field. He'll have to go for a hand pass. It's a bad one, and Nettlefold who's under trouble. In pressure, Jezelenko, Satori again. Kicks down to the forward pocket, flying for the mark down there, but not being able to take it, Saru. And here's Bennett. He's kicked six goals. Sees a pass back towards centre half forward. Done! Jeff Dunn has the mark for St Kilda. Centre half forward, 50 metres out directly in front. And St Kilda fighting on hard. 13, 13, 91 St Kilda. South 15, 13, 103. We're into time on. And it's Milan Philetic. No. No, Fairing. Yeah. Jeff Fairing. They look alike. There's a slight uh, balding patch on both of those players. They've both tried very hard today. Fairing is a long kicker of the football, we know that, but his accuracy is going to be tested now under pressure. Yes, Fairing will have to line up towards the left of the goal. Oh, he kicked in the man on the mark. Not good play by Fairing at that stage. It's a point to St Kilda, 13-14-92. South Melbourne, 15-13-103. 11 points of difference, 25 and a half minutes gone the final quarter. Carter to bring the ball back in for South Melbourne. Can St Kilda get back with two straight kicks to win this game? Oh, player up high comes over the back of the pack, though. Nobody can take it. Dripping in there is Nettlefold. But coming out of there is Zachary, right towards uh, Alan Nibidov. Mark taken there by uh, Trevor Barker. A left foot kick by Barker up towards centre half uh, forward. Over the back there, a beautiful mark to Jackson. And Jackson with South Melbourne coming away now. Down towards Bomberg. And also coming in there is Tyler. Been a great player for South Melbourne. Hand passes over his shoulder. But coming through his loft, met that player heavily. Bernie Evans it is. Lofts gets the ball out. And the umpire Nash is going to come in and ball up. Well, I felt it was play on in that situation. They're a little bit too quick to, to play the whistle, some of the umpires. And the ball comes back over here towards Fairing. A hand pass back to Thomas. Thomas can break away with a further hand pass over to Roberts. A long hand pass by Roberts. Over to Satori. Satori back to Jezalinko. Half forward flag, a short pass. Can he find his teammate? He can. Picked up by Valetic. Could be Shepard running into a goal. But shot for goal by Valetic. Up line and through for another point to St Kilda. 
14-13-93. Ten points of difference. South Melbourne, 15-13-103. What a fantastic game of football in this final quarter. Put up by St Kilda. 26 minutes and 50 seconds gone in this last term. It's getting dark here at headquarters. Seven's big league and a great game and a great kick by Rod Carter. Ball knocked loose out there. St Kilda with chances in this last quarter, but they couldn't score goals when they were needed. Back in field, Tony Moore, who disappeared for a quarter and a half. To his brother Paul, down to the half forward line. Taylor missed it. Should have been a mark to Lofts. Play on is the call. It's loose at centre half forward. Pack diving on it. St Kilda will break away through Lofts. Gets his kick down towards half forward. Philetic in front. Fairing there also. Knocked loose, but straight to Barry Round. Round steadies. Time ticking away. 27 and a half minutes gone. Jeff Dunn. What a try for St Kilda. Further afield. Who's he found? Burns. And Greg Burns has the mark for the Saints. Time is running out. And you can hear the crowd. It's getting very dark as Burns drives goalwards. Philetic and was it up high or was that uh, fairing at the back? One of the two of them. Just the hands off uh, Jeff Saru and out of bounds for a throw in. Main scoreboard in. 27 minutes and 50 seconds gone. And it's a 10-point lead to South Melbourne, who have done nothing in this last quarter. It's been all St Kilda. Ackerley brings the ball back out towards the halfback flank. Fairing there should have uh, marked off free kick. Roberts was being held. Got his hand pass further afield. It's loose. Who's coming out in defence? Right. Right for South Melbourne. Gives it to David Reese jones who's been quiet. Back in field. It was a tremendous handball. They're down to the half-forward line. There's a pass on. Taylor. He missed it under pressure and has lost it. Diving on him was Trevor Barker. Taylor not making a legitimate effort to get rid of it. Very tiredly, just sits on the ball. South in attack, 20 metres out from their goal. 28 and a half minutes gone, and a ball up. I think time is running out for St Kilda. Now it goes the side as the end of the game down here. It's St Kilda very, very luck unlucky indeed not to win this game. St Kilda 13, 15, 93 have gone down to South Melbourne.